So here's the thing. Ever since I started YouTube and realized that I could add my own custom logo and banner, I was all in on the idea of creating my own stuff, even if I had zero experience with Photoshop or anything similar. I mean, my first two logos, which I've used up until now, were made with Pixel Lab on my phone. Recently, I've become very interested in all things AI and the limitless possibilities they provide and one of these possibilities is finally creating the perfect logo for my YouTube channel, without being limited by my own skills, or better said, the lack of skills. But in order to get the wanted result, you know, the perfect image, there are some steps you need to follow. Because, as you may or may not know, if you previously used Midjourney or Dolly or any other AI of this type, you'll not always get what you asked for. Not from the first try, anyway. And sometimes you'll have to dig a little deeper. But anyway, enough talking about it, let's see what's all about and how you can start creating some amazing images instantly for free. And of course, we will start from scratch, creating an account with a free trial and so on. The first step is to log in with Discord, but luckily logging in with Discord is easy and fast. If you have a Discord account, great, just log in with your username and password. But if you don't have one, no worries, all you have to do is go to the Discord website, click on sign up and fill your email, username and password. Then you'll be ready to log in. Once you're logged in with Discord, you'll need to access the Midjourney invitation link, which can be found on their website. So after Discord, go to midjourney.com and click on join the beta. Next, you'll be redirected to another page where you have to click on accept invite. After that, you are ready to start creating your own art. Yes, I say creating your own art because now you have a free trial on Midjourney, so you are officially an artist. Creating images using Midjourney is easy and straightforward. In the Midjourney Discord server, you need to click on one of the newbie channels here on the left, and then you can start creating your images. To do so, all you have to do is type slash image and then write a sentence or a phrase that describes what you want to create. So, to get the best results, you need first to access settings and make sure you're using the right ones for your image. To access settings, just type slash settings. Here, select high quality and style very high. I personally leave the upscale how it is and prefer to make it on my own. Public mode and fast mode how it is. And that's pretty much it what can be explained for a certain in mid journey. Because whatever comes next, it's a total different piece of pie. Of course, there will be some inputs here and there that you should follow, some arguments like dash dash AR 3 to 2 ratio if you want a wide landscape image, the default ratio being 2 to 3 which is more for portraits, or even if you change it from the settings, you can still see how much rendering quality time you want to spend by typing dash dash Q followed by a higher value. The default number here is 1 and higher values take more time to render and cost more. There is also style or dash 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 s argument which lets you change the strength of the default styling you can take it from a value of 0 up until 1000 in version 4 in other versions like version 3 i guess you can make it even higher but of course these are just some examples of arguments from many many more which i will probably leave a link in the description if i find like a full list and if not probably i will make my own and still leave a link in the description but all this cannot work without prompts, without your ideas, without your words. And for a better example of how you should use your own ideas, your own words to command Midjourney, we have websites like Prompt Hero, for example, which shows you a bunch of images created in Midjourney, but also the prompts they've used in order to create these images. And all you have to do is click on one of these images with the style that you like, copy the prompt and paste it in Midjourney. But when you paste it in Midjourney, you have to modify some parameters like style and aspect ratio. The current version, which is version 4, does not support style larger than 1000, like I mentioned earlier and aspect ratio other than 3 to 2 for wide and 2 to 3 for portrait. If you want different ratios like 16 to 9 for example or other parameters you need to choose another version from settings like the previous version version 3. And of course replace the key features with your own ideas to create the image you want. Thank you. 
Next, you can then choose which image you'd like to save, but first you have to upscale it by selecting the U or V buttons from each image. Choosing U will upscale the particular image into a larger, more defined version. And choosing V will create an all new image based on the present image that you choose. And of course you can also use the refresh button to create the all new set of images. And that's pretty much it, the big picture. Because the more you practice, the easier it will get and the more you will learn. But for now, you know the basics on how to use Midjourney to create stunning images with ease. Just remember to log in in Discord, accept the invite from Midjourney, create an image, adjust the settings and use the tips and tricks to get the best results.